hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you from York, England and I am here on a two night stay at the Principal York which is an IHG property literally across the street from the train station in York. I'm here over the Easter bank holiday just to do a bit of sightseeing and I wanted to treat myself to a very nice stay and let me tell you, I am not disappointed. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a full tour of my hotel room and all the other things I get up to at the hotel, like breakfast, maybe a glass of wine. I will do a full review, let you know my honest opinions on the hotel. I've paid for my own stay and I'll let you know if I would stay here again. So if that sounds good, let's jump in to the room tour. All right, so when you step into the door, I'm in room 105, you see this incredible view. This is a king size room. I did splurge from the kind of standard or the petite kind of double rooms that they offer because I am a solo traveler and I just wanted to really make sure I got a very lovely room that I might be spending more time in. I just love the way that they've kind of styled this bed with neutrals and kind of a light green and those eye cap pillows. It's just lovely. And then you might be wondering, so they've given me a garden room view, which is quite cool as well. There are some very small little gardens um, just in this kind of little area around the hotel. Yeah, and then literally, on I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but right across the street there is the wall, like one of the York City wall stretches. So yeah, really lovely view. Um, and then over here, a red phone, which makes me feel like it's like the emergency phone, which is kind of hilarious. We've got um, some plugs next to the bed because people always want to know about that. Um, nothing in the drawers. Yeah, I mean, look at this. I love this headboard. And then as we pan over the room here, I will get to that seating area in a moment. But over here, just straight across from the bed, we've got a fireplace with like actually this kind of cool mercury glass mirror inside of it. So, hello. Um, and then we've got a flat screen TV. And then hilariously, the room is so big, there's this random area with a support beam pole over here, which I guess if you were a kid would be quite fun to run circles around. Another little lamp. And then as we walk in here, we've got this, you might think this is the closet, but you would actually be wrong. It is the place where um, there's actually a portable heating unit here, which is interesting must be kind of old hotel, must get kind of chilly in the winter. And then we've got the kind of in-room coffee and tea making um, facilities. We've got an in-room safe. And then we have a nice little mini fridge here with, um, wow, I wonder if this is complimentary as well, um, some pure still and sparkling water. I've gotta do some reading up and see what amenities are included with the room, but that is lovely. Now, as we pan over here, I wanna show you this seating area. Number one, I love the wing chairs. Um, my grandmother used to have chairs like this in her house, and I love how they've kind of modernized them with the velvet fabric. This is definitely giving me a lot of future house inspiration. Um, but what really caught my eye over here is they have this thing called a tuck box, which again, I need to read if all of this is complimentary or not, but if it is, what a perk that would be. You've got some instant hot chocolate. You've got um, some coffee. There's two different ones, so I assume one is decaf. Um, and then you've got some Yorkshire tea, which is very on brand because we are in fact in York. Um, we've got some Kit Kat bars. We've got some different types of little biscuits. I've had these before and they're very nice. And then two different types of 
They call them crisps here in England. We call them potato chips or <laughs> in the US, but just some regular sea salt and some sea salt and cider vinegar. I mean, whatever I don't consume, I'm absolutely bringing home with me. And you might be wondering what this is here. Well, I'd be happy to share with you. It is in fact a mirror, although it does lean back really far. So I don't know if it's something you could do for your makeup, but I think I would need to prop it up a bit more, but very cool. But yeah, all right. So moving on, there's more. Um, I have a little wardrobe room over here, which I've just currently put my suitcase. We've got, I think they probably could have done a bigger mirror on this wall, if I'm honest, because it's quite a bit of space, but very nice to have a full length mirror. This is my outfit of the day, not that anyone who probably watches these video cares. Um, and then in here, we've got an actual wardrobe, which is um, home to, yes, my backpack. Um, we've got an iron and an ironing board. We've got the hair dryer, and actually this looks like an air conditioning unit, so all of the temperature control options. And then, last but certainly not least, we're gonna go investigate the bathroom. It's also massive. Love this wall detail too, really pretty. Everything is like shades of gray and like a kind of marble type floor. But yeah, so we've got this is kind of the vanity area, so hello. Only one sink, which is a bit disappointing for a king size room, I will say, um, given how big the bathroom is. Um, but you do get some kind of hand soap and hand lotion. Um, there is a plug for a shaver, but sadly no plug for the hair dryer. Why do we ladies with our gorgeous hair always get left out? rude um and then yeah i think oh good um <laughs> the bathroom window is actually frosted for modesty purposes which is lovely all right so now we're gonna go take a look at the shower um the shower is really cool let's make sure we're in focus yeah so this is the shower really lovely Nice kind of rainfall shower overhead, but also kind of a very um, handheld one as well. And in here you get a shampoo, a conditioner, and a hand and body wash. So, yeah. So first impressions of the Principal York is I'm super happy with the room so far. Um, I don't really know where I'm going to blow dry my hair because there's also Oh, there is a, there's a plug uh, down here across from the mirror, so I'm probably gonna have to do it in front of the full length mirror here outside of the bathroom. That's fine, I mean, yeah, so that makes sense. If one person was showering, the other might wanna be blow drying their hair, so I guess it is nice to have separation from the bathroom. Although, I don't know if you could just hear that noise behind me. I am worried, like my recent stay in New York City, that there's not gonna be a lot of soundproofing in this room at all, I can hear lots of revving from the street just outside with lots of buses going by. So yeah, might have to call it an early night as well too. But overall, first impressions on the room, I am very happy with it. I need to actually, I think one thing I didn't show you is just how high the ceilings are in this room. So I'm gonna flip you around real quick. We're down on the floor, but then, dun, dun, dun. I mean, if you travel with someone tall, there's no way that they will have any um, head clearance <laughs> issues in this room. So yeah, sorry, but going back to what I was saying before, really happy initially with the room, a bit worried with some of the street noise from outside, but of course, as always, I will give you my honest opinion and um, I think the plan for tonight is to maybe get a glass of wine and have a snack at the hotel, because I had a very late lunch, so. I'm gonna rest up for a little bit and just kind of chill out after um, a long day of sightseeing around New York. And if you do wanna see my actual travel vlog of what I've gotten up to around New York, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And if it's already published, I will put a little blurb on screen here and I will leave it linked down below. Hey guys, I think it's like 10 p.m. now. And if you can tell, I am looking and feeling <laughs> 
tired. But yeah, I just went down to the hotel bar. So I actually originally really wanted to sit in the garden room, which I just think is such a beautifully designed, elegant room. But when I walked down there, there was like nobody there. And their after 6 p.m. menu leaves a lot to be desired. It's basically like bread, soup, or like charcuterie boards for two. Not so great when you're a solo traveler. Um, now, obviously I didn't even ask if they could modify it for one, so I might be throwing shade for no reason. Um, so I then decided to walk further down to the, um, the chapter house bar. You know you're tired when you can't remember the name of the bar that you went to. I only have one glass of wine, people, so don't come at me. <laughs> But yeah, so I just decided to um, have a lovely glass of New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Always love a Sauvignon Blanc or like a Sancerre. Those are my favorites. And then I, I was feeling a little bit hungry. Not really that hungry after my like um, very late lunch. So I just decided to have a chicken Caesar salad and it was really good. So no complaints there was all the things I wanted it to be. So yeah, just kind of chilled out in the bar. No one, you know, really bothered me. I did a little bit of work on my laptop. By, by work, I mean editing a video. But yeah, so really nice way to round out my first night in, our first day and night in York. Good morning, everyone. So I just wanted to stop and reflect a little bit on my stay at the Principal York. It is now about 11 a.m. I had a really good night's sleep, actually. Um, it's actually, um, you know, in the earlier part of the evening, there was more road noise. But once I went to bed around, I went to bed at 11.45 last night, it was pretty quiet by then. And... Um, my sleep cycle app, which is always a great judge on if there's noise disruptions, did not pick up anything. So that's a really great sign. Um, so yeah, I slept. Now you can hear the sirens. <laughs> not soundproof, but so far not a problem. And on like a bank holiday weekend when people are probably apt to be carrying on a bit, shall we say. Welcome to the UK. Um, yeah, so sleep was really good. I found this bed to be really comfortable. Forgive it if it looks a bit messy. This is me making the bed because I decided not to call for housekeeping because I just, I didn't really see the point. So yeah, had a gorgeous shower this morning as well. That shower is phenomenal. Great pressure. I stayed in there way too long. That's why I'm a little bit having a leisurely morning despite waking up at 8.30. It's now 11. <laughs> So yeah, I showered, I got ready, I went down to breakfast at about 10.30 and um, I hadn't actually pre-booked in and um, yeah, they told me it was totally fine just to kind of walk in. Um, it's 14 pounds and you can either, you can do actually, you can either do breakfast buffet, there's a number of a la carte items you can order or you could do like a mix of both. So um, like for example, if you wanted eggs benedict but then you wanted to have like some mushrooms and beans and other stuff in the buffet, you could do that. And I also had them make me an oat milk latte which was so good, like so good. So um, they were using the Rude Health oat milk so I think maybe I need to try that at home. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, such friendly service um, as well in the breakfast room just really like wanting to make sure you were happy and wanting to help. So yeah, no complaints there. And I think for 14 pounds for a hotel breakfast buffet, it's a pretty good deal because in the breakfast buffet, you actually, you had a dedicated vegan station. I didn't try any of the vegan options, but there was like baked beans, mushrooms, a whole thing of like vegan sausages, bacon, and some sort of like vegan black pudding. <laughs> no idea what that's made with. Um, and then some bread. Um, and then there's a whole gluten-free section for the cereals. And then you have, um, in the regular section, you have like scrambled eggs, fried eggs, um, your usual kind of things you'd see at a British breakfast buffet, which is like baked beans, mushrooms, uh, stewed tomatoes, um, you know, all the kind of the sausages and the black puddings and all that kind of stuff. Um, I ended up opting for just scrambled eggs. I wanted to try the scrambled eggs and a fried egg. They were both very good. Um, I had some fresh watermelon, which is my favorite. Um, I, what else did I have? I had some of the roasted mushrooms, which were really good. Sometimes they're not good at hotel breakfast buffets. I could have eaten more. Um, 
and then yeah so that was really good um i also treated myself to um one of like the double chocolate chip mini muffins which was also really good so everything i didn't have a bad thing at the breakfast um so yeah was really happy with that and i'm super happy that jessica from the future had actually booked um the brunch as well for easter sunday so i'm i'll probably try something different tomorrow just to spice it up but yeah super happy with that um a lot of good value for what you get you know all the toasts all the breads the croissants the fruits you know there's so many options there's definitely something for everyone so yeah so far really happy with my stay and i will make sure to check in tomorrow before i check out with my final review hey guys so I had a wonderfully long day of sightseeing. It came back to the hotel room for a little rest and recharge, re myself, and now I'm gonna try and go downstairs in the hotel. I really wanna go have a drink in the garden room because it's just so beautiful. So I'm gonna see if that's possible to have a quick drink before my 8 p.m. dinner booking. So final reviews on the hotel. Overall, I have been really happy with my stay. I think everything has been very comfortable about the room. I was worried about the street noise, but it really didn't impact anything at all. Yes, you can hear some of the buses and other kind of, if there's like a noisy vehicle playing music, you can hear that from the room, but I found that York gets really quiet at night, at least this stretch of York. So it really wasn't bad. And um, to put it into context, I was going to sleep at about 1130 to like midnight each night. Not too bad. And I think if that's of concern to you, you can ask for a room that's not literally right next to the street like mine. Let me show you. So, yeah, I mean, I am literally almost on the street, but not ac I'm not actually on the street. So you could ask for a room further back in the hotel, which might make it quieter. But either way, not a big deal to me at all. Safety wise, no concerns at all. Wi-Fi has been of a great signal. Um, and the service here has been friendly, a little bit absent minded in a way where like, I did ask for like water to be replenished yesterday and that never got fulfilled when I went out for the whole day. But yeah, overall, um, would I stay here again? Absolutely, I'm really happy here. I think the proximity to town is really good. You know, within York, you're really never more than 10 to 15 minutes walking from anything. It's a lovely walk, it's a safe walk. There's, um, it's really easy and I actually kind of like being a little bit outside of the city center as well because I, I do in a way think it's been quieter over here. So um, I do also love that the hotel is literally across the street from the train station. Usually in cities you don't want to stay next to the train station because it's like a sketchy or we'd say dodgy area. That is absolutely not the case here. Checkout is at 11 a.m. Um, and yeah, no, no other, if you have any questions at all, leave a comment down below because I've tried to remember everything I think is relevant to tell you, but there's always stuff that I missed. Oh, actually one other thing I would say is, so I'm here um, in like a burst of like summery weather, which is, it's about, it's been about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put the Celsius down here because I, I don't know Celsius offhand. Sorry guys, I'm American. We don't, we're not. <laughs> wasn't raised with celsius temperatures um it is a little bit warm in the room but as mentioned my room did come with a portable heating unit and a portable air conditioning unit i did sleep with the air conditioning unit last night and i thought that was really good i didn't want to open the windows because windows in the uk don't come with screens and i didn't want bugs in my room so I'm sure you could have opened the windows and it would have been lovely. The portable AC unit was great. And I think if that's of concern to you, just call ahead and make sure one is in your room when you arrive. So 
yeah so with that said i have waffled on for so long thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end um i really hope that you enjoyed the video if you have been to york or you've stayed at another great hotel in york leave a comment down below sharing is caring here on this channel like this video if you if you found it helpful that really does help my channel and doesn't mean anything doesn't show anything on your youtube channel and if you want to see more of my travel videos and hotel room reviews and like Life in London adventures, please hit that subscribe button. I've got so many more great things coming your way. So thanks again for tuning in guys and I will see you soon.